So good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, whatever time this video finds you. My name is Frank Guest, and this is the Frank Guest uh, YouTube channel. Uh, this is the uh, Bose Professional uh, Time to Speak, time to listen, time, time to listen uh, event here in uh, in DC, uh, and and I actually want to. Right, so I was walking across this table and I was looking at the uh, your uh, your Bose uh, video bars, but I've already got uh, videos. I've already got videos of those. I'll put those links up in the description. But I saw a DSP and I saw these funny little boxes here, and I'm wondering if are you going to introduce yourself, say who you are, yeah. and then tell me what these uh, devices are. Yeah, so I'm uh, John Schmidt. I'm the regional sales engineer for the Mid Atlantic and Northeast for Bose Professional. Um, so this is our uh, Control Space EX 1280C uh, conferencing DSP. It's an open architecture DSP. We have uh, 12 analog in, 12 analog out, as well as 64 by 64 Dante, VoIP, uh, stereo USB in and out, and um, a POTS line on board, as well as serial and um, IP control. Kind of your standard um, open architecture DSP setup. Uh, it also has 12 channels of AEC on board for conferencing. Um, these are the um, EX um, U uh, the EX expansion boxes. Um, this is the 4ML, so it's four channels of mic or line input, mm -hmm. as well as logic to support red green LEDs and a button. Um, the microphone and the logic are on a single Phoenix, so you don't have to spread your, your cables across. This is the four channel version. We also have an eight channel version that has inputs on both sides. Um, and then this is the EXUH, which is our um, BYOD interface box. So it supports USB as well as connecting to a conferencing phone or a standard desktop phone as the headset, essentially allowing the room sound system to be the headset for a desktop phone. Um, the benefit to these guys is they are Dante endpoints. The first unit is PoE and the subsequent units will daisy chain off of that on power. So you have a single cable back to the DSP. Um, they all mount underneath the table curved edges so you're not mm -hmm. gouging your knee on anything. Text ends up the right way when it's upside down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw that. The ears are the right way, you know, so yeah. you can actually, when the text underneath the table, they can, you know. They can actually see it. Right. Um, and then we also make an accessory bracket for these that is um, magnetic so that when you have a very high value table that's being manufactured, you can send that bracket to the table manufacturer. Mm -hmm. They can mount that bracket. And then when the table shows up, this connects with a, with a magnetic interface and then a set screw to hold it in place. It allows you to have the table manufacturer do the sensitive drilling into the table without having to send AV devices to the table manufacturer um, and have all that stuff laid out ahead of time. I like that way better than a than you know a twenty year old tech on his back underneath a eighty thousand dollar table drilling up. <laughs> yeah, trying to figure out how to get a hammer drill through a granite tabletop without right. cracking it. Right. Exactly. Yeah. So. Yeah, and so we have, this is the 12 by 8, we also have a 4 by 4 uh, conferencing DSP as well as just an AEC expansion box that is the 12 AEC. Gotcha, and, and they're all Dante, right? They are, they're all Dante on points. All Dante, great. No, I yeah. appreciate this. This is, this is really nice. I yeah. appreciate it, man. Thank Thanks. you so much. Yeah, thank you. All right. Don't forget to uh, uh, like and subscribe. And if you have any comments at all, uh, please leave them in the uh, comment section below.